Google just made Nano Banana and VO3 available together for free inside Whisk. The best part is that you're not just getting free access, you're getting both tools working together seamlessly. And unlike Gemini or Google AI Studio, where resizing images can be a real hassle, Whisk makes it super easy with built-in frame selection. In this video, I will show you how to access and use Whisk in 5 minutes. Let's get started. First, grab the link below. Whisk is free to access with your Google account. Down here, you'll see the text prompt box. And if we click Add Image, the left sidebar expands. This is where you can upload assets or drag in images for subject, scene, and style. You can enter a text prompt to generate the image or upload your own. For this demo, I'll upload my own character. And if you don't have an image, you can click the little dice button to generate random subjects. These are great for inspiration when you need one. Now any image you upload can also be edited. Click this button to enter the editing panel. Let's take this robot and prompt the robot eating an ice cream. With one click, you get a consistent character, just with the changes you asked for. You can then use that new image as your subject reference. The same workflow applies to scene and style. You can roll the dice for ideas, enter text prompts or upload your own images. In this example, I'll upload a clothing collage I found online. For the scene, I'll use this cute coffee shop front. For style, I'll skip it for now. Down in the prompt box, let's type the woman sitting outside the coffee shop. Whisk also gives you control over aspect ratios that are commonly used. We've got square, portrait, and landscape dimensions to choose from. No need to struggle with resizing like we did in Gemini or Google AI Studio before. Under settings, you can adjust the seed number and toggle precise reference mode. With precise mode on, you'll get to input up to three references that stay very true to your uploads. If you turn it off, you'll get more flexibility but less consistency. Let's send it to generate and see what we get. Here are the generated image. I generated a few more times for variations. You can see how well it combined everything from the clothing collage into the final scene. The character and even the detailed background stay perfectly consistent. Everything just fits together naturally without me needing to explain how. Now here's a useful feature. If you want to refine the image, just click refine and describe what you'd like to change. In the prompt, I'll make the woman hold a coffee cup. Simple as that. One click and you get the change. Let's also change her lips to pink. And she now has a different vibe. Maybe also add a magazine on the table. And we can easily change the scene by telling it what we want to see. Now let's get back to the project workspace. Let's animate the image with VO3. Just click animate on the image to enter the video panel. Let's add a text prompt. Describe what you want your character to do or what actions should take place. And you can even add a dialogue in the prompt. And here's the result. Isn't it a beautiful day to sit around and do nothing? I bet you're jealous of me. <laughs> if you don't specify sound or dialogue, the ambiance sound or even dialogue may also be generated automatically. I also tried a cartoon style combining subject, scene, and style. The result looks good and incorporates the reference image as well. I animated it the same way we did before. When I asked it to make her sing and dance, it wouldn't generate audio in this style though. I also tried asking it to generate her saying, what a beautiful place. You can see she's actually mouthing the words, but still no sound. Here's a tip for those of you who want more control. To work around the three reference image limit for precise control, I found a workaround. Instead of juggling multiple separate reference images, generate everything together in one image first. I created a robot, a walrus and a phone in the same image. Then I used Refine to change the walrus's apron to green. After that, I cleared the subject slots and just dragged that final combined image back into subject. Then I added a scene, in this case, a cheese village and a style of pixel art. In the text prompt, I described what was happening. The robot is using the phone while the walrus stands beside him in a cheese made village. And here's the result. I think the combination of the cheese village scene with the style control here is absolutely amazing. Yeah, we've got a situation. Everything here is ugh, so cheesy. <laughs> 
One last thing for the tech curious. The main generation model here is actually Imagine 4, but the refined feature runs on Nano Banana. Also, WISC users in most countries can generate 5 free VO3 videos each month per email, and it resets every month. Try yourself with the link below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. We've got a problem here! Everything is so cheesy here!